been waiting for this, haven't you? You've got to admit, it's a really good idea. Serve up David to take the heat? Forget it. He's responsible. He's the one who did it. He's responsible. He's the logical choice. You would do anything to split us up. I don't give a damn if you're together with David or not. In truth, I think you deserve each other. I am merely proposing the best and legitimate way to solve this problem. Throw my husband in prison? He's guilty. He did set me up, and he sabotaged my plane. Those are vicious rumors and nothing more, so we need to come up with a better solution. You know she's right, Greenlee. You, you just don't want to see it. You're not even a part of this company. The Miranda Center has my daughter's name oh, on stop it. Stop being so stubborn, Greenlee. He doesn't have a, a reputation to uphold. He's been stripped of his medical license. He's been involved in countless crimes. A few SEC violations is nothing to a man like David. Everyone would believe he's guilty of manipulating the Miranda line accounts. The case would be closed. Fusion would be back on track. Well, for you, maybe. But what about David? There's no proof that he's done anything wrong. I'm proof. He drugged me. What? What are you talking about? I threatened to make a big scene. Greenlee's victory announcement ruined her big party. He slipped something into my drink. I woke up in a room in the yacht club. Oh, my God. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. Well, that's it. I am having him arrested. You know that there's no proof the drugs are all out of my system. He really did that to you? Are you surprised? Look, it's a very simple choice here. Do you continue to, to blindly protect a man who would drug innocent people or worse? Or do you save this company? What now? I need to get out of here. Okay, fine. And while you're off enjoying your free time, please think very carefully about your priorities. Have I told you how happy I am to have you here, even if it's for just a short time? There's no place I'd rather be. <laughs> I am sorry, however, that you had to leave your, your wife and your kids to come back to such a mess. Oh, it's never neat and tidy around here. Is it? <laughs> True. <laughs> Would you please sit down before you pass out? Okay. <laughs> Well, only you would mm -hmm. almost die on some mountain and then <sighs> come back immediately into battle. Well, now, what was I supposed to do? Was I supposed to just lie down in my hospital bed? <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> you still haven't told me about all that. You must have been really scared. Well, I, I was afraid that sometimes I wasn't coming back. But actually, I was lucky. I was lucky because I wasn't alone. Uh, Crystal said that Caleb guy was a little scary. Yeah, he was. He drove me crazy sometimes, too. Sometimes I wanted to wring his neck, but... <laughs> he saved my life. More than once. The one on the top? <laughs> Miranda's got a loose tooth. Oh, oh. Well, tell her not to wiggle it too much. Mommy wants to be there for the tooth fairy. <laughs> well, kiss them both for me. Kiss yourself. Okay. Well, Mom sends her love, too. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> Can you believe that? Pretty soon she's going to be driving. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't it just seem like yesterday she took her first steps? So here you are. Well, where else would I be? Gee, I was kind of hoping maybe the hospital. Oh, well, hardly. I was kind of hoping you two would take a break to celebrate your engagement. Oh, we will. We will. Don't you worry about that. Over apple juice and jello at the hospital. Oh, 